Good morning. We're trying to feed our new fish. He's being difficult because he won't recognize that the food is right in front of him. <laughs> He's trying to practically bottle feed him. You could look at it that way. Let's see if he eats now. Is he eating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like it. He's eating, but... He's just difficult. Yeah. Like, you can smell it. This morning has been so productive. I am feeling <coughs> accomplished. I am feeling proud. I am feeling exhausted. It's only 10.45 in the morning. But we've been up since 5. We filled out some paperwork that needed to be finished by today. My husband took out the trash. Today was collection day. After he left, I just turned on a hurricane in the house. I finished clearing out the kitchen, just waiting for those dishes to dry to put them away. There's a load in the dishwasher. I don't know if you can hear it. This is just a little project I'm working on, so don't worry about that. That's not actually a mess. And I also have some packages ready to be mailed out today. I stripped the bed to change the sheets and throw, them, throw the other ones in the wash. I also stripped the dining table to throw that in the wash. There's currently a load in the washer as we speak. I also picked up all the dog hair with the Swiffer, my reusable cloth. Remember to try avoiding the use of single-use items in the home. My doggies have already been fed and they played outside for a while, so they're a little tired out. I also tidied up the house a little bit. Things that were out of place, they're back where they belong. I have to take my meds in a little bit as well, but I just need to take a little break because this is the most active I've been since waking up in a really long time. And I'm telling you, I feel accomplished well-deserved water break. As I was sitting down, I also received a message from one of the members of our volunteer group about something that needs attention. And just a few seconds after that, I received a notification from, let's just call her like administrative support to the volunteer group because I don't wanna throw too many military terms out there. So if you saw yesterday's video where I showed you how my agenda is color-coded so I know how much time I'm dedicating to each thing and try to make it more even. Some things just got added to my list. And on today's agenda, I already have that tutoring session in the afternoon that I have to prepare for. <clears throat> Call my GI to see if I can move up my appointment for this cough and the tightness and all the other stuff that just does not go away. And also added to my list, I have to call my in-laws <clears throat> to help them out with a military survey that's online. So it's getting a little hard to talk now. <coughs> <clears throat> so just taking it easy one thing at a time, but I'm, I really feel accomplished and I just wanna keep this momentum going. So let's see if my body will cooperate and let me feel like Wonder Woman today. I decided to come work outside, even if Hawaii has an infestation of flies, because it's just so beautiful out here. It's been so rainy these past couple of days. And really there's just, I mean, listen to that. Listen to the birds. There's no better office than nature. I mean, look at everything that's around me right now. The sun is shining. Got these beautiful plants right next to me that my husband just fixed. My doggy is sunbathing. Look at this view. Look at that sky, the flowers. Can you believe this is my backyard? I'm so blessed. Got my little succulents right there. Herb garden. Here's my doggy. She was resting, but now she's just curious. How could you not be out here? It is too beautiful to be indoors all day today. Gabby also put bird food in the bird feeder this morning. Look who came to visit. Red-headed sparrow, maybe? I forgot. This was what I call a penguin. A little penguin. I know that's not the name, but that's what I call him. Volunteer stuff is half done. I'm having trouble with a platform here creating a sign-up sheet for the potluck. I'm just gonna have to figure it out later. It's time for my medicines. So I'm gonna go back inside. Someone's complaining. She wants to go back inside too. Right now I'm debating whether to call my in-laws to help them out with the survey or to just keep trying to figure out this platform thing because I'm also waiting for a confirmation from the administrative support of the volunteer group to answer questions so that way I just have to email out 
one thing to everybody. I did hear the machine beep that it's done. So I think I'm just gonna take my medicine, deal with the laundry, and whatever inspires me to be dealt with next, that's what I'll do. Okay, second load of laundry is done. My video is still processing or exporting or converting, <laughs> whatever word you wanna use. I'm gonna deal with the laundry. I already took my plate over to the kitchen, trying to keep things neat and clean and tidy. Just keep moving, just keep moving. I'm not showing you my laundry room yet because um, it needs a little work. You'll see it soon, but hey, look. There's my washer and there's my dryer. See, it's a laundry room. <laughs> Ooh, got a little lightheaded when I was dealing in the laundry room. So you know what that means. Lunch sugar time. If you haven't seen this before, I think I mentioned it in my first or second video. This is just a Care Touch glucometer. Got off of Amazon. It comes pretty well equipped. The only thing it doesn't include is the alcohol swab. And again, if you haven't seen this, I'll just walk you through the whole thing. After a meal that's actually pretty good because after a meal it's supposed to be below 140 and before a meal it's below 100 so honestly maybe it's a little too low after a meal whatever it is my heart rate is a <coughs> 105 and I'm feeling a little weird so I'm just gonna sit on the couch with my computer take it easy and just keep working from there. This is one of the great things about working from home and volunteering from home, that if you're not feeling your best, you can always just do whatever you can from your bed or the couch or just work your own schedule. I remember working those, part those two part-time jobs I told you about that last year when my symptoms for Crohn's actually started, I didn't know it was Crohn's at the time. I remember having to teach my classes sitting down, asking my students to write on the board for me, or asking students to pick up papers for me, or <laughs> asking students to go get snacks for me. They're so wonderful, and I was not abusing. They actually were happy to help, so I was very blessed to have very caring students, very understanding students, and empathetic. They're so wonderful. I'm gonna remember them forever. I'll always hold them in my heart, so. Yeah, just gonna do a little couch time with my laptop. Ooh, my heart rate is now 116, just standing here talking to you. In case you think it's a little exaggerated. Just standing here talking to you. So, definitely some couch time. Yay! The video is now published and advertised on Facebook. I just have to put it on my Instagram account. I was going to go get my cable to connect to my phone to my laptop so I don't have to tap on my phone so much. And I got tired. And the machine went off that the second or third load, I don't even know anymore, is done. And I'm tired. <laughs> I don't think I have time for a power nap because I have to go see my kid in about an hour and a half. Fortunately though, the mom did confirm that today is not the beginning of our supplemental material sessions. It's still just helping with homework <coughs> from school. So don't have to do any extra work, at least for today. But I still haven't finished the sign-up sheet for the potluck. And I'm not worrying too much because I'm still waiting for an answer about something I had asked so that I could put everything in one email. I want a nap so bad right now. I'm trying to just push through. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to stay awake. If Involuntary power nap is now over. <laughs> I woke up at about 3.10 to my doggy's nose is just checking up on me. Anytime I fall asleep on the couch, they always come check on me. Just putting their little gate up because I can't trust the little one to not get up on the couch or either of them to not go into the bedrooms and we used to close all the bedroom doors but it got too annoying. Anyway I was trying to tell you that I don't drink tap water for health reasons and we don't buy bottled water or gallons of water trying to avoid plastic so even though the filter for zero water is plastic it's a lot less than having to buy a gallon of water every day or <coughs> a whole pack of water bottles that come 
wrapped in plastic as well that are only gonna last less than a month. So with this, it's one filter every couple of months. It kind of evens out, even though I kind of wish it could have been just plastic free. Right now, I am just waiting for my tablet to charge and my watch because I forgot to charge it <laughs> while I was eating breakfast. That's when I usually charge my, my watch. So in just a few minutes, I will be on my way and I should be back by 5.30ish, depending on how much chatting I do with the mom. Before I go, quick honesty about my feelings of that involuntary power nap. I am annoyed that I couldn't take control over it. I just kind of fell over on the couch, conked out, and it's like, I cannot take it. It is annoying, but at the same time, I try to respect my body's wishes. If my body needed a nap and it just gave me no choice, then it's because it needed it. And I'm trying to think that I'm practicing self-care. Annoyed, trying to accept it. If it happens to you, accept your feelings as hard as it may be and look on the bright side of everything. At least try. I try. It is hard, but it's good practice. There's nothing like getting a call when you're just almost out the door. But hey, you don't plan when people call you, right? Anyway, got my sunglasses on. It's still sunny. Good thing. On my way. See you in about an hour and a half. Well, this is fun. As <coughs> I was just getting... <coughs> As I was just getting home, my husband was on the phone with me and he tells me, there's a chihuahua crossing the street. I'm like, what, where? And as I'm looking for him, then he just whoosh right in front of me. And it's not really a chihuahua, but now we have a stranger's dog in our yard. It's going fairly well. We already called the owners and they're coming to go pick, come pick him up. He's marking the entire yard. Look at that tiny little thing. Luna's just happy to play with someone new. And Lali couldn't care less. Well, I mean, she was mad at him at first, but hello. Oh, she got in front of me. He was coming to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. You're so jealous. And now they're getting to know each other. They do not want the new dog near me. He's such a tiny little thing. Lally, it's okay. Aww. He's so cute. How sexy do I look right now on a scale from 1 to 10? Be honest. Just practicing some much needed and well-deserved self-care, which we should always take time for. Leaving this charcoal mask on and some eye patches for puffiness while I work on my vlog and something else for tomorrow. And also trying to break the cycle of going to bed late, waking up early. My dog is licking my foot. Even though my husband's show time tomorrow or his reporting time or his clock in time, however you want to call it, is at noon. We've talked about this before. Sometimes he goes into work at 6, sometimes at 6.30, sometimes at 9. Tomorrow it's at noon, which means that I don't know if I'm going to see him at midnight or if he's actually just going to be gone for 6 to 8 hours. You never know. Someone graciously offered to give him a ride to work though, because if you remember tomorrow is my appointment with another doctor, it's at 11 and I really do need the car and there's no way that I could just go to my appointment and then he can go where he needs to go and then pick me up from my appointment because he can't leave and there's just no way that was gonna work, especially the places are very far apart. So thank you to this person. I know this person isn't watching my videos, but if it somehow lands in his hands, thank you for the very gracious bride. You are saving us a lot of trouble and a lot of headache. I don't plan on working on my vlog for too long since again, I just want to go to bed a little earlier than we've been going to bed lately and get back to going to bed between nine and 10. So I'm going to say my good nights now, remind you to please like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and share with your friends, whether it's somebody with a chronic illness, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, indeterminate colitis, anything under the IBD umbrella, autoimmune diseases as well, because the chronically ill life applies to us all in the autoimmune world. You can also share with your friends who are military spouses or anybody experiencing or who has experienced the military lifestyle and probably has some tips and suggestions on how to work on the struggles and the obstacles 
obstacles that we face. So please remember to share as well. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Hope you have a restful night too.